Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another episode of SMPDX3 Amplified Edition, and today we are going to be doing a couple of things. Uh, first things first, I'm going to be showing you... Ooh, love's been busy. Anyway, we are going to be having a little bit of a tiny little tour, because uh, I am back from Wales now, and in just a short week I am leaving to go to the Silly Isles, so not long to do this episode at all, not long at all, so... I've done a couple things off camera at times I could not record. Mainly, I got this bridge done. Um, so, yeah, this bridge is completely done. I've been meaning to do this since about day two. So, having finally got this done, it basically makes this path look a lot, lot better. These lamps all come on at night time. And there are loons everywhere. Because I've got loons resource pack that turns chickens into loons. Because why not? It's the SMPDX server. What is this? The Pyomat 3000. Oh, Don't know who built this. I'm assuming it was Tadachu, who's our new member. He's living over here. I'll show you his house in more detail in a minute. But yeah, we got this uh, bridge done here. So this makes a much nicer entrance to our house. So we'll just pop over, over here to Tadachu's place and have a look at what the bridge looks like on the underside. It's fairly simple, but I think it looks great. And that just ties up our area more into the spawn town and fixes up that path that I built on day one that I've been meaning to fix up for a long time. Anyway, so we are here. This is Tadachu's place. Uh, he's built a little bridge connecting over to ours as well. And I think Tadachu is home. He is just over there. We'll pop in and... Where is he? We'll pop over to say hello to Tadachu. Oh, he's, he's terraforming by the looks of it. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Yeah, basically, Tadachi is our new member. He has his house here. I actually like, really like this house. It reminds me of my old building style, if that makes sense. There he is. He's just getting things started there, so that is all pretty awesome. But anyway, as you can see, the lights have now turned on on the bridge. And yeah, basically, uh, I was originally going to do an episode sort of tidying up the paths a bit. But after doing that bridge, that took me like a couple hours. I realized doing the other paths is going to be... Uh, quite a job and I, I wanted to see if anyone else wanted to do them So I'm gonna be leaving like this path and a lot of the other paths up to everyone else to start doing but Let's oh, we got a loon in the farm loon will be proud of me. But anyway today We aren't just gonna be catering around spawn town because today is the day We're gonna start work on our main base. I know it's like an early episode to be doing so but remember last season, it was episode 3 I moved out into my main base, so I feel like this is an appropriate time to do, because as much as this is going to be a community series, um, I also want to have my main base, because I don't want to be taking up everyone's space here, because I've got some big plans to be able to make happen in my new base. But anyway, uh, that means that doesn't mean I'm going to be leaving Spawn Town, it just means I've got another project on the side that I can be working on. So this, this will st still get expansion on, like, more bridges, more paths. I'm probably going to be helping Datnerd if he wants some help beautifying uh, the animal pen area under all the bridges. But anyway, yeah, the basically, I'm not going to be leaving Spawn Town. So before everyone starts shouting at me, like, it's supposed to be a community series or whatever. I'm literally just going to make this clear now. I'm still going to be working a lot in the Spawn Town. Uh, I'm just going to have another project going on in my own place. I've scouted out the area and I've got... Basically a visual plan in my brain of what I'm going to be doing. So we're going to be starting that today. No means going to be finishing it. It's going to be a multi-episode project. But it should be really good. So today, I, as you can see, I've got Obsidian. I'm going to be creating a portal and a nether tunnel over to where my base is eventually going to end up. And then I'm going to start work on uh, a staircase up to my base and a sort of like a portal area before I start work on the main bulk of my base in future episodes. But... We're going to check on this cactus farm because people aren't taking cactus from it. I've set out all these chests out here just to dump cactus, excess cactus in. Because everything's filling up a little bit. Because if we go back here, we've got quite the amount of cactus, as you can see. So, basically every couple, every couple days I just come in here, grab some cactus, and move it on out to, another, uh, to one of these double chests. And then... Basically, that just stops it completely backing up and making a laggy mess when cactus can't be picked up. So, I'm just collecting cactus and sticking it in the double chests out here. 
And that just basically makes it a little easier and a little more server friendly about having this cactus farm running quite a lot of the time because as you can see we got a fair bit of cactus. I mean this cactus farm definitely isn't messing around so we'll just grab up all of the cactus we possibly can and I think that'll do for emptying out the system a little bit for now because the cactus farm that we built in a previous episode over here this is doing work so people SMPDXers Take your cactus, take it and store it in your own bases, store as much as you can possibly carry and we should have a problem with backing up. So yeah, so after building this bridge, which actually I'm really proud of, I love the look of this bridge. It ties in our area perfectly and it just makes Spawn Town look a lot nicer than the one last season did because no one really worked on the paths too much. They sort of stayed the same throughout the entire season. So. I thought we'd start early, make this bridge look nice, and make this path all look nice, and maybe at a future date we'll come over and sort out some of the other paths, maybe other people will do it, I think I'm going to leave it up to other people, but just adding little details like this in may look quite nice. But anyway, as for now, we've been talking for far too long, we've probably been talking about five or six minutes now, um, I am going to start digging in the nether, uh, creating a nether tunnel where I'm going to put my portal, and basically I'm going to rejoin you when we have the portals linked and I can show you my area and sort of brief my plan for my season's main base uh, to you guys. And next episode we'll probably be working over there as well, maybe working over here, I'm unsure yet, but you can basically expect episodes to be a little sparse until I come back from my next holiday because I just don't really have too much time. But anyway, we're going to dig another tunnel and link up over at where my new base is going to be. Okay, so we have got all of the nether tunnel built. We have our portal over here with a bit of netherrack and we are we are a fair bit far away from spawn. So spawn town. This is spawn town in here. This is there's our, our house there, the bridge, you know, all of that stuff. And so far I think that's a quite a far away place and there's Willow's Stars place here, but no one I don't think has ventured quite this far out. We are all the way up here because this is the perfect terrain for what I want. A little swamp outcove that's completely flat in the middle with huge high mountains all the way around the outside except for one side where it goes out. And we've got loads of different places nearby. We've got dark oak forest, birch uh, flower forest, birch forest, oak forest, swamp. Everything we could possibly want. So... Uh, collecting resources will be easy because I tend to want dark oak wood a fair bit. So, anyway, my plans for this area. So, let's talk you through it. So, at the moment, we've got actually a big giant waterfall issue, which is going to have to change because we don't want these big waterfalls here. These these will go. Uh, but this area here, this is the area where. Basically, what we're going to have is the portal's going to be out over here somewhere, probably at the same height as this grass here. Uh, there's going to be a big circle, basically, and that circle's going to have a water channel around it. Maybe like a pond or something, like a circular pond going around it. And that's going to have lily pads and stuff in it. With the portal in the middle and a little like, gazebo type thing, like a bandstand, I don't know. If that makes sense, I'll, I'll work it out and we'll start building on that in this episode, but... As for them, there are going to be these big stairs that go up to around here. And there's going to be waterfalls coming down in between. There's going to be three different staircases. Um, and I think the middle one's going to be wider than the other two. And then we're going to have a massive entrance into the mountain here. We're going to have a big triangle roof and four great pillars coming down. And then that's going to basically open up into a big grand hall in the mountain and in there there's going to be rooms going off in different directions for different things and of course we'll have other buildings in and around the mountains I haven't got that far yet this is just going to be basically the start but essentially there's going to be a massive entrance into the mountain here with a lovely sort of garden-esque area like park-esque area out the front for the portal and stuff which is what we're going to be working on this episode uh, so yeah we've got quite a bit of work to do I'm going to basically get designing uh, what could possibly go here and then I'm going to start building it. I'm going to need some resources from back home. It's a long run. But yeah, I'm going to design where the portal's going to go and I'm going to get back with you when we have started some work on the portal area. But 
Yeah, many thanks to Tadachu for sleeping and stuff, because this... I, yeah, I don't have torches to light this place up yet. So, basically, we're going to get building. And today is going to be a very buildy episode. So I'm going to get back with you once we have a little bit of building progress done. Okay, so we have quite a basic start here. We have a small fountain in the middle with four paths going out on either side that are five blocks wide. I think this is probably where the staircase going up to here will probably start. And my plan kind of is here to have a staircase going up to my main entrance to my base here. Uh, the portal is going to be off here in sort of like a semicircle dome bit on the end of there. I'm going to get rid of all these lava and waterfalls here. They're kind of in the way and being a little annoying. Uh, I've already got one of rid of, uh, got rid of one of the uh, waterfalls that was here. I bought a bed over and uh, a good bit of stone because this bit is going to be mainly stone based. It's going to be like a courtyard area. I've got a little fountain in the middle. And over this side we're going to have a staircase going down into the swamp where I'm going to clear out all the trees and make it completely flat. And we're going to have a small village down there. That'll be something to work on. That's quite cool. And I also noticed that up over there, there is a mesa as well. That's not in render distance at the moment, but it's over there. We've got a big mesa as well, so that's even more helpful. And then over this side, we're either going to have a staircase down to something or a staircase up to something or just a path going off to something. I haven't figured out what we're going to do this side yet, but we've got loads of mountains and stuff to work with. So there will be something over here. I don't know what. So basically... This fountain here, this is sort of the very central point of our base. This is like the very middle of everything that's going to be going on. Portal that side, village that side, uh, a grand hall, massive base bit that side, and something else that side. But yeah, it's going well so far. I think I'm going to flesh out these paths a little more. What I'm planning to do is having paths that go here, 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 and here. And then a smaller path going like that, like an L-shaped, and then a diagonal path connecting... Then together with water channels in between, it's going to have waterfalls coming down from the stairs and waterfalls going down the stairs there. Water, a big water channel over by the thing. It's going to look really cool. There's going to be lots of water, which is going to be cool because I, I like working with water. It's quite a nice color and thing to work with in Minecraft. But yeah, it's not going to be my most ornate, intricate, detailed build, but it's going to look good when it's finished, I hope. It's going to look... Uh, very nice, and especially when we get the big entrance, which is what we're going to be doing next episode in on this w uh, rock face here, on this cliff face. It's going to look absolutely incredible, and when everything starts fleshing out, it's going to be awesome. So, basically, I'm just going to keep placing stone slabs and get this courtyard area fleshed out a little more, and then we're going to work on the waterways. Okay, so, basically... We have got the stone slabs in place, so this is going to be like the path, and as you can see, it has... The three sides and the one curved side which has the portal on it. Uh, and basically, yeah, this is what the stone slab pathing is going to look like. So these are going to be the paths that we walk on to go to the different places. Of course, there's going to be a staircase going up there. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the staircase this episode or not. We'll see how we get on. But now I want to grab some stone bricks and I'm going to show you basically what we're going to do with the water channel. So basically the stone bricks going to be our accent block where the water channels are going to go. And I think probably a good place to show you is on these bits. We're basically going to coat the inside of these holes that I've left with stone bricks. So as you can see we're doing that now. And basically that's going to create where the water channel is going to go. And it's going to be two blocks wide for the most part on the water channels. And we're going to have a stone brick floor underneath. That's going to have glowstone in it. That's going to be our lighting. I'm not sure if it's uh, light enough to stop mobs from spawning. I'm certainly going to have that as my aim. But if it doesn't matter, I'm sure a couple of mobs won't hurt. But as you can see, that is now a two block wide water channel. And of course, there's going to be the stone brick floor on that. And we're gonna when we get some glowstone, when we get enough of that, we're gonna accent it with glowstone in there a bit, just to hide a little bit of lighting under some of the water. It's not gonna be completely hidden, it's gonna be a little visible, but I'm sure that won't matter whatsoever when we actually get uh it built. I'm pretty sure creepers not spawning is more important than a little bit of lost um looks on the part of the stone bricks hiding glowstone. But anyway, basically, we're going to have this whole thing here, and if we get our water, you can see how this is going to go. We're just going to fill this up with water. Uh, we'll create an infinite source in there first and put that back in a minute. So if we just sort this whole 
water area out, so you'll be able to get a grasp of what we're doing. I mean, I mean, there is the nasty swamp colours here, but it doesn't matter that much. As you can see, the water seems to be a bit, quite a bit bluer up the top, and then you can see it gets a sort of more murkier colour, but that doesn't matter to me. We've got a Discord notification. I, I usually have that on Do Not Disturb. My bad. I apologise for that, but that's not where that's supposed to go. Let's get it on top of there and refill our bucket. So as you can see, this is what we're going to do now. All of the spaces and stuff, I'm going to have water channels in. And once the water channel's done, I'm going to show you uh, the finished result. And then we're going to work on the little portal area and then probably end up building the staircase up, even though I said we weren't going to do that. But yeah, this is going well. We're creating a lovely courtyard area. And then once uh, next episode rolls around, we're going to start on the big plans over here and I should probably go check discord I'll be right with you when all the water channels are done okay so that is all the waterways in place as you can see just everywhere around the path we've got a, like a two wide ish waterway and on the map it looks like this so basically yeah the courtyard is pretty much finished we're gonna have some lily pads in there I'll go collect them from down over here actually we can do that now together but now after the courtyard Let's just grab like 10, 15 of these. And then we can stick these uh, in the waterways just to give them a little bit of uh, color, I guess. Like let more than blue just so they're not as flat. I think we could put it that way, yeah. Well, anyway, we've got like 23 lily pads or so. We'll stick them in the waterways just a bit randomly. Hello, Mr. Loon. And. Yeah, we basically have waterways that look just jump around and why is it placed two at a time? We'll just stick lily pads in them a little bit, just adds a little bit of coloration in these waterways, I guess. It will just make them look a little bit does it look different? It does look different on the map, but anyway. We have now done the lily padding. Why? I, I don't get why it places two like that. It's kind of weird. But we'll stick one more lily pad here. There we go. So we have lily pads done. Lily pads in and done. We still need to get the glowstone, but the portal's here. And as you can see on the map, it's, it's fairly big, the courtyard. It takes up a sizable chunk of land. And the next thing we need to do is obviously build the stairs up and these waterfalls coming down into these channels. And also build a little hut thing around the portal area. But apart from that, this area is coming along nicely. Of course, it will be terraformed uh, so we don't have these massive overhanging ledge bits. But that will all come in the future when we make more progress there. When we build these stairs going down and plan out where the village is going to go, all of the terraforming will sort of go around what we're doing so once this courtyard area is fully complete which will probably be in the next episode more or less then we will have um progress to be done but as for now i'm going to be going first of all going back to my spawn base to grab some more resources and stuff and then we're actually going to make these stairs and waterfalls going up here as well as the portal shack and after that that should be the episode done we've made lots of progress today but as for now, I'm going to pop up to, well, pop down, actually, because it's over here. Pop down over here to my spawn base and grab up some cobble walls, some more stone, and just some, uh, maybe, uh, yeah, I'll grab the glowstone as well. I'll see how much glowstone I can actually grab. And then I'll come back here, finish up everything I want to do this episode, and I will get back with you once this episode's progress on the courtyard is complete so i will see you guys in just a second okay so that's everything done we've got this little portal room it's extremely simple but it, it's gonna do it's literally all we need for the portal at this stage we come in the portal and we just look here and you'll be able to see the staircase with the waterfalls and then you can just imagine a huge entrance way here that goes into a grand hall then you come out and you look over there, we've got a village over there. Something else over here, maybe a big statue. I'm thinking that could be quite cool. Or just something else over in this direction over here. But 
What a start, hey? What a start on my uh, base for this season. It's At the moment, it's very simple. There's not too many textures going on. I think it's literally the grand total of like three textures. Uh, the stone slab, the stone brick, and the water. With a couple of accents like the cobble wall and the lily pads. But literally, there's not a whole lot going on as of yet. But as we expand out, it's going to be... A lot bigger and a lot better. We're going to have a massive entrance way in this area that expands out into a grand hall area. Uh, like, envision it kind of like as, you know, the Mines of Moria in Lord of the Rings. You know that, the big hall where they all run through and it's just big, just a big hall just full of big stone pillars. And that's where they get like, I think that's where they get like thousands of Moria orcs uh, chasing them down. Like, just imagine that room, uh, where they first hear the battle, like, when they first hear and get teased at the Balrog. Just imagine that, and that's basically going to be the big grand hall there. It's just going to be a big open space with big stone pillars holding up the roof. And I'm going to try and make, like, the roof and the floor and the walls quite ornate in there. Show off a bit of my detailing, but this piece is going to be a little different than my other ones. My other ones have sort of been go with the flow. This time I've really got a plan with what I want to do. So, as you can see on the map, it's starting to take shape. We have got... A, I, lo I just love that shape on the map. It's just a really nice shape to have created, and if we zoom out, it quite possibly could be the biggest build on the server so far. Um, I mean, it's not complete by any means. We're going to have stairs going down into the village, stairs over here to whatever's going to be over here. We'll probably have something out behind here. And of course, the big entrance way in the Grand Hall going to be in this mountain. And we'll probably make an entrance way out the back into the Flower Forest. But basically, got lots of space to work with because I deliberately chose a place very far away from everyone else. So I shouldn't encroach too much on anyone else. So hopefully no one comes over here and builds in the local vicinity. Because i got plans for a lot of the terrain around here. That's why I unfortunately did have to go with somewhere that wasn't as close to home as I would have liked. I was originally hoping... To find something like on this, like on this big chunk of land where Spawn Town is located, but I couldn't find the terrain I wanted. I kept finding like parts of it, like big cliff faces, but not the flat bit of the middle. And I mean, this was just the perfect bit of terrain, so that's why I am so far out. But yeah, basically, between now and this, uh, now and the next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the glowstone. Uh, in and get this lit up a little better, see if I can prevent mob spawning, and I'm also probably going to dig out uh, the starts of where the big entranceway is going to go, so I'm going to basically push this all back. Basically, to put it in retrospect, the waterfalls, they're going to come out the base of the pillars, so that's where those are at the moment. So we need to push this thing back by probably about 10, 15 blocks, just back into the mountain. So, yeah, it's going to be a little unnatural to have it carved back so far, but I'm going to try and do my best to make it look sort of naturally set back. I don't think I'll do a great job, though. I've got to get rid of that tree as well. And I've still got to get up there and get rid of these lava and waterfalls. They're not too pretty, in my opinion. They're just a bit of a mess, especially because this one's creating cobblestone and all. But I've got a bit of terraforming to do as well, but we'll do that in due course. That won't be done for a while, I don't think. But... Yeah. Wow, we have started our main base so soon. Like, it's it's getting there. It's coming along. I I love the grand. I like I love the start we've started. Like the uh, the start we've made. It's going well. It's exactly what I'm envisioning. I'm still unsure whether I want to keep this fountain or maybe make a bigger fountain or maybe remove the fountain altogether. Depends. But as for now, I'm I'm really happy with the start we've made. I keep going to the map just because I love this view. Of what it is basically and yeah it's gone well I really love how this has started and as for now no one else on SMPDX apart from myself and Bladestone have actually seen this base have actually seen my plan for this base like what I've built so far usually I'd be building on a creative server designing stuff getting my idea uh, down basically like on paper before actually building it in survival and usually Fluff would pop over and have a look and change a couple things. Because he is the he's the wisdom of the building half of this server. So, yeah, he hasn't seen this. So this is purely me. 
like most of my things, but sometimes I do get Fluff's input, but yeah, this is base is basically going to be purely me. I don't want anyone else's input on this. I showed Bladestone just out saying, does he want a sneak peek, and he did, so he said uh, my plan for the entranceway that I've got designed on my super flat creative world, he said it looked big and ominous, which is exactly the look I'm going for, and as it's getting dark, as it's getting creepy and we don't want mob sawn out, oh, that's not good. See, I'm quite good at getting rid of mobs before they become a problem with my bow, but I've just got my bed under the stairs here, uh, just to stop any mishaps from happening, but we have got uh, a few resources, not too many over here at the moment, but when it, the time does come for us to move into the space, we'll have a lovely storage room that will be fully automatic and everything, but... That's all to come in due course, because hopefully this season lasts as long, if not longer, than the last, and we can get all the plans we want to do done. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of SMPDX3 Amplified Edition. I went to say Minecraft The Lord of the Rings then. I haven't done that series in a month. That could be returning soon. Anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of SMPDX3 Amplified Edition. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and a comment down below. And yeah, if you if you want to comment, tell me what you think of my plans. Am I going too large? Am I going too small? Do you like my idea for the entranceway to the Grand Hall Village? And actually, especially, comment down below what I could do with this space over here. But apart from that, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of SMPDX3 Amplified, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.